Hey guys, so today we are in Shendom Sandomir? Sandomir. Sandomir. Oh my god, I'm already butchering the name, of course. Anyways, first things first, I'm gonna show you guys how I got here. And then after that I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of other things that I've noticed about Poland and Polish people itself. And we're just gonna walk around and enjoy the old town. We're yeah. gonna visit Ojciec Mateusz. A lot of Polish people will know what that is. Yeah, apparently <laughs> it's some famous TV show here, and actually we were watching it the other day. Yeah, it's pretty cold right now. I'm actually freezing right now. He's I shaking. I see him shaking for the first time in my life. Yeah, it's it's one degree Celsius right now, so it's quite cold. Anyways, we're gonna go and enjoy the old town and just walk around. Alright, so this is the museum behind me for some famous show here. I don't really Ojciec know it. Mateusz. Ojciec Mateusz. Ojciec. Father Matt. Matthew the, the father, because you know we Fat call... Matthew the father, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess the whole town is featured in this? The whole town? Yeah, yeah, a lot of corners and a lot of places. I she's, mean, she's the biggest fan. Not she's the, she's biggest the biggest fan. creepy just, fan. Okay, because we're very <laughs> sentimental. Me and my family were very sentimental about Sandomish because a big part of my family comes from that place. So, oh, uh -huh. you know, it's just nice to see your like, childhood when memories. When was the last time you were here? I, I don't know, 10 years ago? Alright, so it seems like the town is obsessed with the show. So much so to where menus on food will have, where is it? Okay, Hrbata Ojcza Mateusz. They have teas of the guy on the show. I mean, this town is making, but, this town is making a bank off the show. But, actually the tea seems to be really tasty, so I might end up ordering this one too. drinking this tea I guess it's just in this region or something um, it kind of looks like the bottom of the Vistula River it has oh, you didn't find that funny um, it's <laughs> no, embarrassing it wasn't it's funny. Funny. our biggest river in it's Poland. a joke Anyways, it's not he, he, he can't joke so it's <laughs> shut up <laughs> so it's rose petals oranges lemons and I guess tea is the base and ginger and some other stuff I'm not really a tea person, but it's pretty good. I'm probably not going to drink all of it, though. Like a pole? Oh, thank you, Raze. <laughs> <laughs> you need the double pinkies on each side. <laughs> so I just looked this up, but Poland is the ninth consumer per capita for tea. So I think it's Turkey's number one, then Ireland, UK. Russia's in there. Egypt. And then Poland is down there at number nine. Poles get down to work. We get to drink more tea. To ninth be country for tea. Country in yeah. drinking. I didn't think Poland would be the ninth country for tea drinking. We have to be up, up, up. We're gonna beat certain country. I'm not gonna give the name. <laughs> All right. So another thing that I noticed about Poland is the graveyards here are so packed, like incredibly packed. I think what sometimes there's like five people per grave. Can be, I mean at least in Lublin, I think. Correct uh -huh. me if I'm wrong, but there can be, in some graves, there might be up to eight people yeah. in so, one grave. That's insane. And apparently they don't bury Jewish people with Catholic people? No, every faith has a different graveyard in Lublin. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the okay, same in the States, but... Okay, it might be not but... a graveyard, but there's parts. Uh -huh. A Jewish person cannot, like be, cannot sections, be buried right uh -huh. next to a Catholic because there's sections of, of really? graveyard. I am speaking on behalf of Lublin. Yeah, I don't know about the States, if, if that's a thing in the States at all. I thought that was kind of weird. But anyways, what, what did we learn about Sandomish so far? Some fun facts? First information about Sandomish appeared in 1097. Uh -huh. So it appears that Sandomish is like over 900 years old, and for him that's shocking. Apparently this place is known for growing apples or something like that yeah. in apple orchards. Apple region of Poland. I thought Lublin was like that too, but apparently that's not the case. So a lot of their menus will have like apple based dishes on them. Oh. Alright, so we just got out of the church, but I didn't want to film in there just out of respect. I'm yeah. not gonna 
I'm not gonna do that. But anyways, um, it was beautiful in there. Now we're gonna head to this castle. All right, so there's two sides to Sandomirish. Sandomirish? Sandomirish is basically divided into two parts by uh -huh. Vistula River. So we have kind of the old town over here. And behind me, we have kind of like the industrial side. So, and that's also the Vistula River. It's like what, the biggest river of Poland is, or yep. something like that? Tell us what you're interpreting from this one. I'm disappointed because I was exactly painting the same paintings when I was in preschool. And why they're not hanging in there. The roast. guys to his cool outfit. <laughs> he looks like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm I'm carrying your bag like a gentleman. Thank you. Yes, you are a gentleman. Thank you, baby. So this is the most random thing ever. And in the museum, it was pretty random. There was there was like museum stuff and then there was modern art. Really weird modern art. Um, to be honest, I don't really get modern art a whole lot. You. I don't get odd at all. <laughs> you don't get odd at all? Odd at all. You don't get odd at all. <laughs> I don't get odd at all. <laughs> Anyways, we're at another random place, which is actually right at the castle. The author wants to draw attention of people and to actually say, hey, you guys behave like monkeys, no matter what country you're coming from. Italy, Hungary, and probably whatever else. The Vatican. Mal oh. Malpa. <laughs> That's all this so the at symbol in Polish is actually called Malpa, Malpa yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, something else that I noticed about Poland is that on Sundays everything is closed like businesses shops Everything is closed and I think that's most of Europe I'm out of breath right now because I just walked up this but I grew up going shopping for groceries for the week on Sunday, so I guess you just have to readjust but That's just how it is here but Poles don't necessarily like that. It's religiously right a religious base I mean, not necessarily religious. People just, I mean, our government thinks that if you have a day off, first of all, workers do not work on Sunday and they can spend more time with their families. <laughs> You're really That's out of the, breath, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> Another interesting thing about Sandomir is that they have this mineral called flinted, what is it? Stripped. Flint. Stripped, stripped flint, striped flint. Stripped. And I guess it's like, world known to be here in this region and I think they they say that it's rarer than diamonds and it's only found here in Poland so that's another interesting thing all right another interesting thing about Poland is that they have these specific areas and cities where they designate to gardens how does that work explain you know how they have those areas where you can see all the babchas going they have like their own little cottages with these little plots oh, yeah, of lands yeah. right next yeah, to the yeah. city and basically they can go there and garden, right? Yeah. Do you know yeah, how else I that know, works? Yeah. It's like little yards where they can, even if they live, for example, in block of flats, they can still have their own piece of land uh -huh. somewhere. Yeah, so that's that's something else that I find pretty interesting because I can always see like babchas and jadiks going to their little plots of lands to like farm and garden. I don't see that in the States at all. The only time you'd have your own garden is on your land where you live, not like a separate cottage. So that's pretty much it for this vlog and I've, I'm gonna make a couple more videos from this town so 
stay tuned for those. So yeah, it's a pretty neat little town and I'm really happy that we went. I feel like every little town that we've traveled to, I've always been pretty happy that we went to. Anyway, so that's it for the video today. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Jinkwe, man. That means